Hey, uh, Lang, are you going to sleep right now? Uh, no, I might be awake for a little bit longer, but I'm not, like, I'm not trying, like, I'm still going to be awake, but I'm not trying to be awake, like, for, like, four hours, you know? Okay. Um. Right, what's up? I think something's happened to me off here, yeah. The bass killed his ass? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure it's not bass. Um, right now, uh, he's missing, and, uh... What do you mean, missing? He's missing. He was, um... He was supposed to meet me. And he's okay. missed that point. And, I mean, how do you know uh, he's not just, like, off playing Final Fantasy or some shit? Because this is, uh, very important. Uh, okay. Uh, how long has he been missing for? Uh, almost, uh... Like a day and a half. I mean, is that long enough to say somebody's missing? Um, just because he was supposed to meet me and he's always like been very, you know, as a loyal kitty. Okay, so. I mean, we did see him uh, yesterday up in Polito talking to a sketchy masked man. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're at in Polito. I like the farmer's market. No, the, uh, the fucking, the, the pier there. The docks or whatever. Okay, off of the cliff. Uh, let me check my GPS one second. Like, you know, like, uh, if uh, you look at the Polito Bank and then you go out to the coast, there's, like, that dock that's there? Yeah, yeah, that exact dock right there, yeah. Um, were you there with, with him to meet with that person, or...? No, if I'm being honest, I was uh, running from the cops and uh, we ditched my car there and uh, we saw them. Oh, the people that you were uh, running from the cops with? Ah, uh, yes. Who was that? That was me, Speedy. You and Speedy? Yep. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, yep. had, has he called you? You know, like he, he trusts you a lot. Whenever I try to talk to him after you're on, he trolls the shit out of me to the point where I cannot talk to him. So I kind of been ignoring him, if I'm being honest. Yeah, you know, I actually got very pissed at him uh, like three, three and a half days ago. Because, um, yeah, that, that trolley shit. And I was like, you're not making sense. It's so much to a point like I can't even, I can't take the bait. Okay, so the issue with my on is ever since that waterboarding shit, okay? We mm -hmm. went to therapy and he just, he just lost it. Not lost it like crazy, but like lost it where it's like, he just like went 360. Mm -hmm. No, I believe like, that. He's to, been he, he weird. Told us he, like he changes alignment. He's like trying mm -hmm. to get into some shit now, shit like that. So and whenever I try to speak to him to get to the root of the problem, uh, you know, he kind of just acts weird. To the point where he kind of lashed out and uh, I think he left the guild. So, I mean, if you're... If you turn 360, wouldn't you be back at the, where you started? I'm oh, sorry, 180, my man. I'm fucking tired, all right? I understand. Look, um... Well, like, uh, you remember that day that I saw you at Clinton? And he got in the car with you, and... You were sketched out kind of by me, and I was sketched out by you. Oh, I wasn't sketched out. I was fucking with you. Okay. And I was following you. Yeah. Because uh, he was supposed to be in the car with me. And he was supposed to be hanging out with me, and I thought he was uh, trying to ditch me. And I was going to, like, yeah. make him feel like shit for doing that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, did he, did he open up to you at all about what's been going on in his life? I mean, kind of, not really. Kind of not really? I mean, he's told me he's, like, been dabbling in some dumb shit that I, you know, can't really tell you about, so. Okay, fair enough. I mean, you guys got but, your uh, own you know, business. I tried to talk him out of it, and he said I was jealous, so I... You know, kind of said, okay, get out of my car. See you later. Like a, of an opportunity, you think that like, like, was he going to not give enough time anymore at the roosters and like you guys? No, he thought I was Janice because he was like hanging out with other people okay. and these people are not the greatest people in the world. So I was, you know, trying to talk him out of it because he's stupid. Okay, he fair enough. Hurt. So then he kind of defaulted to saying, I'm just Janice that I'm not hanging. He's not hanging out with me. So I got pissed. I said, okay, get out of my car and, uh, you know. We'll talk later. Okay. Uh, well, uh, he was pretty adamant about talking to you. 
and he felt very comfortable to talk to you about things. So, um... Yeah, but the issue is, whenever Meow Creon speaks to me, okay, it's mm -hmm. always trolling. And and that's what I feel. I, maybe I don't understand what's going on in his head, okay? Mm -hmm. But whenever I try to seriously help him, he just defaults to trolling me, all right? I went to every single therapy session uh, he had, okay? And mm -hmm. then we did, like, a weird, like, therapy thing where uh, we we're trying to make him, like, relive uh, the thing that happened with Bass. Oh, to try and, like, uh, reverse to try to, like, engineer uh, it? Well, just to try to pull out, like, what he was feeling and shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, he started saying that I'm the one that tortured him. Because, like, I was playing Are you Bass. serious? Yeah. So he started associating all of his trauma with you? Yeah, and it's really weird because he's always, like, defaulting to, like, calling Bass his best friend. He loves Bass, this, this, and that. I call Bass Dude. to, you know, kind of pry <laughs> information, and Bass tells me, you know, oh, we're best friends now, yada, yada, yada. It just it doesn't really sit right with me. I don't know why Bass is all of a sudden trying to get so close to Meafurion. And I, I, I just don't understand why, uh, you know, Meafurion is... He's either truly believes they're best friends or he's just trolling everybody. Okay, that was the stuff that pissed me off. Because he was like, oh, I'm very upset about all of this. But he... He calls Bass. And I'm just like, motherfucker. Like... Hey, after what he smart. did to you, why didn't you call me? Like, you want to sit there and be like, oh, I didn't trust every, any cops, and I didn't trust anybody, and all this. Other. Like, I put my job on the line for this this shit with Bass. Like, I'm the one and that told him to fucking sue think, him in, uh, in private and, like, to pursue this because, like, that's pretty fucked up. Well, you know he left the guild, right? Why? <gasps> because whenever we bring up Bass, and he should stay away from Bass, because Bass is clearly, you know, no disrespect. I get mm -hmm. it. Everybody gets a second chance and get forgiven, yada, yada, yada. But he does not need to be anywhere near that man. And we try right. to tell him all the time. And he just goes, oh, but he's a nice guy. We're best friends. He'll never do that Like to Stockholm me. Syndrome shit. Yeah, like Stockholm Syndrome shit. Right. So, so he was upset the other day. And do you know who he fucking calls? Bass. And I'm and I'm talking to him. And I'm like, Malfurion, I have... When were you going to loop me in on this? I just happened to help assist on a call and I ran into Bass and, and we were talking about this. And I was like, uh, what, what have I done that you wouldn't call me if you were like, why are you running to this person that, that totally like violated you? What and is that's this? What we, uh, you know, that's what we struggle too. And if I'm being honest, that's why I've kind of been distant from him. Just kind of let him do his own thing because I try to help people as much as I can, but I can't help people who don't want to help themselves. And uh, we even had like, we had like a giant, uh, not really like a giant argument, but it's just like been an ongoing, like, I guess, weird tension that whenever we try to speak to him, he always talks about Bass. Mm -hmm. He talked to him, you know, Bass, listen, stay away from this guy. Yeah, he's a cop, but this motherfucker tried to kill you over uh, some information that you heard or whatever, right? Right. And then, yeah, I mean, he would just default to calling him his best friend and shit. And <laughs> listen, I deal with too much all day, every day. I, I, I can't deal with stupid shit. No, no, no disrespect to me, Afrian. I, I love that cat. You know, he, he's done a lot for me. Uh, we've become great friends, you know, through through time. Since I first hired him at Rooster's Ranch. But mm -hmm. uh, I'm not trying to waste my time with this shit anymore. You know, I'm trying to move on. All right. Fair enough. Okay, well, um... He's missing, and I think it would be important for you to know. Just so the fact that uh, if things escalate and uh, we go down a, a path that three days later, if you found out, you'd be like, where was I in this daisy chain of fuckery? Because I know what no, that I, feels I like. Trust me. I, and I know I, you I, I care about him. I mean, I care about him, but I also know him, right? So right. Not, that, well, not to say that I don't believe you that he's not missing. I'll talk to the guild about it. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think it needs to be a little bit longer than a day. Just in my opinion. I know me. Right. It's, been, in it's been more than a day, but this is like a. It, I'm not trying to uh, blow any horns or toot any whistles or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, just uh, out of a courtesy, because I mean, I have an understanding with Mr. Nino because he's also very concerned about um, the adventure party and everybody at Rooster. And I've made my intentions very clear with him because he is very alarmed with my uh, presence and hanging out with them. So I just Those people are my family, Copper. Uh, without, right. without, the, without the nerds, I'd literally be nothing. I wouldn't have a business. I wouldn't be where I am today, quite frankly. So, Yeah. I do care about them. I'm going to look into it. But, uh, you know, I don't sound so alarmed. One, I'm stunned about this Bobcat shit. Mm -hmm. And two, uh, you know, I just got to... When's the last time you saw him? 
uh a day and a half ago like what was he doing where was he going what was he you know what, what, what was his mindset um he was scared for his life uh why um he thinks people are after him okay people are like who exactly i don't exactly know he wouldn't tell me but he uh he, went... he never told you what he's been getting into well i mean you guys <laughs> i don't really pry too much because there's that line mr lang that if it gets crossed then i have to be a cop right now you know? and tell you but you know me i fear you know he did the 180 and like i said he changed his, his alignment mm -hmm. you know started dabbling in things here and there with the wrong people and uh mm -hmm. you know i told him it was gonna, it's gonna lead down a bad road if it doesn't stop so i hope you listen but I'm also very, very concerned with the, the, this bass and my family relationship. I can't understand it. So, yeah, yeah I, I got kind of. I don't pissed. know why bass is really, really trying to get close to me. Maybe it's to get to me. Maybe it's to pry for information. I have no idea. But well, I mean, I me. I work very closely with bass. I mean, I have my own ulterior motives, right? And I'm 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 fine with playing ball, but uh, with this, I already told bass that uh, I will never support him in anything that he does. I will never promote him. I will never suggest him for anything because I can't trust him. He he flat out asked me what he should do with uh, Meow Furion and asked me if he could 5150 him. And I said, no, you can't. I'm like, and you, you issue, have right? to this, swallow this... the hard pill and you have to go. And he literally, and he asked Snow the same thing and he literally went against that. And it's just like, I don't trust you, dude. Like for all all these other obvious reasons, but like this is very uh this is too damning for me. So I mean and this and this is what irks me and, and, and really gets me pissed off is the fact and no disrespect to your department. I understand or the police. Oh I'm sorry, nobody it's the state cares police. about this. Uh, no, nobody's concerned as to why Bass is trying to get so close to him. Nobody's concerned that this uh, I guy am. literally tried to <laughs> kill this cat. And now all of a sudden, it's trying to be his best friend. Nobody's asking these right. questions. Is but anybody if I, else and if not? I say anything, <laughs> oh, you're a fucking criminal, Lang. Oh, Lang, you're probably selling crack cocaine, Lang. Oh, Lang, we know what you're up to. We want to audit and raid your ass, Lang. Hmm. They, they don't take my words seriously. Rightfully so, maybe I made some decisions that I shouldn't have and tarnish mm -hmm. my reputation to be with the police. I get it. But uh, I just don't know how the city, you know, lives with the fact <laughs> that this is happening. It, it really fucking bothers me. Yes. Uh, but, you're you know, you're not alone, you sit back Bass. There, or uh, sit you're not alone in regards to Bass. Monster. Like I, I'm very. I struggle a lot, and a lot of it is very like internal things where I'm like I can't rocks, really idiot. talk about all of this because there's a lot more sensitive information along with it. But I just have to sit on this stupid fucking shit because uh, there's there's bigger picture problems that are here. But this needs to be addressed. Dude, there's so much more fucked up shit that's in the PD. And I don't know yeah, how nobody else issue, is right? like Everybody clocked ignores, on it. Uh, they ignore the fucked up shit to... Listen, okay? All the PD cares about is solving investigations and getting promotions. No disrespect. I'm trying to insult you and no, your no, people. No, no, you no. Okay? You can talk To the point openly. where everyone is okay with Bass doing this. Just so he can... I, I know he's trying to get close to him to get to me. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, he has made up in his mind that I'm just fucking... Super villain from from some fucking anime. He's like a Damn. hard on for you. Here, I don't hear a Yeah, no, I get it. And, and, and trust me, Bass is so fucking stupid that even if I was doing anything, he never get to me. He, he's a fucking idiot. No disrespect to that guy. But, no disrespect, uh, but actually disrespect on that guy because fuck. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. I, I just, I, I wonder sometimes if he's doing this to piss me off in hopes that I lash out and do something crazy. Yeah, Just probably. to say, oh, I got his ass. So. I think he probably tries to pull your strings just to get you like all jacked up on your your rage, and it's almost kind of like uh, he's calling your bluff. Can you sit back there? Does that make sense? Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. Mom's driving. Um. Okay. Well, I know you care about him. Uh, I've told you guys this before, and and I know it's hard to really tell because of everybody's experience with law enforcement. And police, but this, like I told Mr. Chavez, like, uh, like though those nerds are the only people that have been my friends. I consider them like my family because I, I don't have any. I've never made an effort to 
get to know anybody. And nobody's actually really made the effort to give me the time of day besides the fact that I'm a cop and I show up on scene and then you have to deal with me. But yeah, I mean, the nerds love you too, right? Uh, that's why yes. I, that's why I don't, I don't really care that uh, you guys I mean, I had some issues in the beginning when you guys first started hanging out. But, uh, you know, once I right. realized, you know, the but I understand it, it doesn't bother me. You there. Nina was very concerned that I was. I was using them to get information. And that's the only thing that bothers me, right? Is, uh, you know, yes. the cops and you made for uh, innocent people. They might be fucking yes. old ass adults, but they're a bunch of fucking nerds at the end of the day. And uh, mm -hmm. all I really see is a lot of people just always using them. So, right. You know. And I mean, you have the same concerns and those concerns are very valid. And that's a, an obstacle that I have to, you know, overcome. And, and I understand it. And I know it's not just going to magically like go away and it's going to be, you know, tested time and time again. But, uh, if I wasn't a cop and I knew this information, I would obviously want to tell you because you're the next closest thing that I think of like a father for these people. I try to be. So I'm just telling you, I'm worried about your kid, Mr. Lang. I'm worried about my kid. I've been worried about my kid since the day he was tortured because he's not been the fucking same. And no matter what I fucking do, I, I can't just show him what he's doing wrong now. And it goes, like I said, further beyond mass. He's he's doing dumb shit, hanging out with the wrong people, and uh, getting involved with the dumbest things that I wish I could tell you, but I can't. I understand. And it's not even with the people that he knows or trust. It's just literally random people hey. who will literally throw him hey. under the bus to save their own ass. So. I understand. The, it's a, uh, he's, um, he's the type that's very, he gets so close that his nose is like touching whatever he's hyper-focused on. And he doesn't see the bigger picture of what's happening to him. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah, that's actually a way, really good way to explain Daffyon's thinking, I guess. Yeah. Rocks, you idiot. Anyway, I can't help you with your warrant because of uh, the officers that are on duty. Uh, I wouldn't even know to begin to have that kind of conversation with you. Uh, obviously, my concerns are with the adventure party or the guild and uh, with Meowfreon. I know... Um, you bring up valid points as far as like uh, it hasn't been that long, but I I'm just concerned because uh, we had plans it, it, and they were very specific. Yeah, exactly. If you know something I don't, then uh, you know I'm more inclined to believe you. And like I said, I mm -hmm. looked into it, but uh, you know, hopefully, uh, like I said, my friends don't just to disappear and come back. And then when he comes back, he tells nobody. He calls the most there, fucking random people in the city to go hang out with and do dumb shit with. So. Right. And you you said he was talking with a person on a pier in Polito. Uh, yeah, and we knew it was him, even though he was trying to be disguised, but, uh, and it was funny because, you know, don't fucking arrest me, but I was escaping the cops in my Bentley, and I wanted to go stash it under the fucking pier in Polito. Moon rocks, mm -hmm. And then we saw them, and at first I didn't know it was fucking him, and we were kind of running towards that way, uh, because we just thought, you know, it was just a bunch of fucking, you know, uh, you know, people just chilling by the pier fishing or some shit. Right, right. And these motherfuckers dipped and took off, and then later I find out that, uh, it was Mafirion, so... It would, but uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, he's, he's, <laughs> he's a, doing some weird shit. So it's a crazy coincidence how when you go and do, do stuff around the island and the people that you come across, and you're just like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" I mean, the, the city is so big now. I can't tell you how many times I've run into people in places I would never expect. Mm -hmm. All the fucking time. Was there anybody else like uh, they the two of them were meeting, and then like someone was keeping a, a lookout? Were there any other vehicles? Uh, I mean, I'm not too sure. We kind of fucking dipped right after. Because, uh, you know, we just want to get away from the cops and lay low and get changed and shit, so. Okay, fair enough. I know you guys are, like, in the moment. <laughs> yeah, we're, like, in the heat of the moment, right? Uh, we thought it was fucking weird, though, when it just fucking dipped. We didn't really question it too much until, uh, you know, later I find out who it was, so. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I'm like, okay, well, he's probably doing some dumb shit with somebody. Maybe, you know, things I can't talk about, so hopefully he's okay. Um... And I guess, like, the, seeing him like that wasn't, like, alarming. So, like, there was no reason for you to be like, uh, what were you doing out there? Or, like, it's just, like, that's generally just not your threshold of knowing, or... I mean, two weeks ago it would have been alarming, right? Or maybe even a week ago, but... Yeah. <laughs> Look, it, it, trust me, it would make sense if I could tell you, Copper, without putting him in any trouble. But the things he is doing, it, it would not shock me if I wake up tomorrow and me out here and just fucking, I, I don't know, fucking hijacks a plane and just goes flies around for fun or some dumb shit. <laughs> 
I know. I was trying to get him his uh, flight, flight license, and then he kept stealing planes. I'm like, you can't. You have to stop doing this. But anyway, yeah, I mean, like I said, I tried very hard to get to him and uh, maybe I'm an asshole for it, but I'm not really. It's not that I don't care anymore. I just know I just can't help him. So I'm just letting him do his own thing and mm -hmm. crossing my fingers and hope that he finds out and, uh, you know, learns through, you know, the lessons of life. Yeah, well, I think there's some lessons in life that you can see from a mile away and you're going to try your best to defend your friends regardless because there's it's like a. Um, if this happens, there's no coming back, you know? Yeah, and that's what pains me is that when you try to, you know, get somebody to really understand that as hard as you can out of desperation and they just don't listen, right? Like, what can you do mm -hmm. at that point? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for talking with me. I, uh, I don't really... I think the only person I really, like, vent to is Dean, and I think he gets to a point where he's just like, this is so colossally fucked, I can't keep listening to your shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you went to the nerds too, but you know, that's okay. You can always call me, we can chat, even yeah. though we're uh, on the opposite side of the spectrum, co uh, Copper, you know? Yeah. Not opposed to uh, having a chit chat. Well, sometimes I think I'm like, am I fucking crazy or does this seem like completely fucking wrong here? Like, a lot of the stuff that happens starts making me question, like, my moral compass. Like, am I. If I. Am I being too much of a, a hard ass or, like, are these people just dipshits? Like,. <laughs> Uh, I think it's just lack of consideration for, uh, you know, humanity, I guess, in a sense. Uh, everyone's like uh, an investigation to solve or a person to put behind bars for promotion. Nobody's humans anymore, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. People took the time to kind of step back and realize that. I think, uh, you know, people would be treated better. Mm -hmm. And uh, things would even get solved easier. But what, who am I to convince people of that, right? Right. I, I guess so. I think, uh, I don't know, people, I don't know, it sounds kind of kumbaya, but I, I think if people just learned a little bit more patience, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know the, the answer to everything, <laughs> you know, and yeah, I don't, I don't want to pretend that I do. I mean, same here, but, you know, we can still disagree with shit, right? So. Yeah, fair enough. Well, um, no, we need, we I'll a, call you on your mayor. shit if we you need call me. We a fucking mayor who can start passing laws and fucking legislations to fucking change oh, some you shit know what here. i heard uh yesterday no not yesterday the day before i ran into uh mr denzel williams at the rooster's rest when uh the cards yeah we're uh coming out and i ran into mr denzel and uh he told me that he's running for mayor yeah i mean uh, as much as i would love for denzel to win i don't think he's gonna win here copper right i know but i'm just a part of me was like, oh, really, Denzel, you're going to... And I'm like, well, what is your initiative going to be? And he's like, I'm going to save kitty cats. And I'm like, that, isn't that what firefighter do? Like, what are you fucking... <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm just going yeah, to I mean, save little scared kitty cats from trees. That's the city we live in where a man like Denzel can become mayor. So, you know, anything can happen, I guess. You know what? It's like Donald Trump. You know what? You, you say that, like, Denzel's not going to become mayor. But who thought that that Pred would become sheriff, right? And who who I thought mean, guess, that yeah. Cornwood and Wrangler would be in the positions that they're in? Like, honest to God. Like, you would think of like, oh, that's really funny. Ha ha ha. But who's going to actually vote for them? And lo and behold, like, look at where we're at, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what makes me lose hope for the world. And that's why, you know, circling back to me after if I feel like I cannot help them, I just get distance and, and distant and uh, just do my own thing. Well, I mean, need, uh, guidance on there, you know, so you have I mean, you, it's very father figure like of you is like, hey, he has to learn to fail. He has to fail and learn his lesson and pick himself back up. But like at the same time, like aside from you caring about him and loving him, I mean, you have to let him fail if you love him. Right. Because, like, you run, you're running it. You have your own life. You're running your own businesses and your entrepreneurship. And you're also uh, breaking into Bobcat security and shooting security guards and committing arson and blowing up vaults. Allegedly, I and, was kidnapped. And you're leaving your DNA behind. And it, and it just, it's the, the evidence stacked up against you is so fucking juicy. It's going to be really amazing i hope that i'm there just so i can watch it all unfold 
but you're so busy, you know what I mean? And so it gets to a point where you're like, I can't deal with your shit anymore, Malfurion. I have larger goals, like hitting security trucks and getting in high-speed chases with the cops. Yeah, but see, that's the mentality of an officer. That's all you think I do. No, I know that it's not all that you do. I mean, I, I don't think that is true, but it's fine that people assume that of me. You know what I mean? I'm just people poking. People want to see the I'm bad just people. Poking. Nobody wants to no. uh, <laughs> see the good power. Like, you misunderstand me. I, uh, I'm just poking fun. Yeah, but let's be real. You'd love to see me behind bars as much as Bass or uh, the officer would. Actually, no. I think you're too clever for that. Yeah, the first thing these cops do whenever I get into some hot shit is they threaten my business. So if they want to take away a business of, you know, over 150 people who are employed, then by all means, let's see where they end up in, in, in life. And then let's see who's, who can do a better job than me. Well, um, as if we're going to be honest with each other, as we have been in this conversation about very, I mean, that honesty is a very interesting line between you and I about what we're going to talk about and admit. But I will tell you, I think that there are elements in life that need to exist. There needs to be, I, I'm not like a whole yin and yang type of person, but for things to get better, there has to be bad to expose where things are really bad. I, I believe in necessary evil. I believe in chaos being there for a purpose to be a instigator and a, an agitator to, to create progression. If everything is so happy and hunky-dory, that is that is not what this world is. It's unapologetic. Nobody fucking cares about you. You're not fucking special. So if that that is the, the truth, then how are things ever supposed to get better? True. I mean, I'm simply just a businessman looking to uh, look after me and my own people, maybe rob some banks on the side, so. <laughs> right. I mean, I see the n nerds do some pretty questionable fucked up shit, but I mean, I'm... I'm after much bigger game. So, I mean... Well, I hope you catch that game, Copper. But, you know, <laughs> sometimes they stay 20 steps ahead the whole time, so... True. It's kind of... You sit back there, you sip your Capri Sun, you shut the fuck up! Kind of hard. Mom's driving! Can't be around for all of it, you know? Yep. And I, I don't think that my my purpose here in and in my sworn officer position i'm not here to stop all crime i'm just trying to make sure that there's some people left alive after the dust settles so that we can actually grow and have that progression because <laughs> not everybody's gonna make it to the end right you're only looking to uh, go after the big deal right and that's why you're talking to me on the phone right now no i'm just confiding in you because i I had a really shitty conversation with someone that I thought was my friend and then it turned really bad and... I'm realizing, besides Dean, I'm pretty fucking on my own. Snow, I think it's Snow and Dean. And it really well, doesn't matter right what top, I tell Copper, you, you know? know like, what are you gonna do, arrest me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Right. My job is not to go after people, so... Well, I mean, I have that. Like I said, the, the, there's a line in the sand. Uh, I'm after much bigger things. Not that I, I'm going to, like, shake the foundations or whatever, but I believe in create, helping those those foundations for something better than myself to happen. And if I get swept up in the wake of whatever that is, then I, I hope that I leave it a little bit better than how I started. Well, I hope so, Copper. But sometimes uh, the people you're trying to do that with are the ones who are going to leave it worse when you leave, so. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be easy. Um, but I appreciate the chat. I, I know we've always talked about having a talk like this, so I'm glad we've we've had it. I, I think of this course, is of kind course. of what it is, but. Yeah, I mean, like I said, feel free to call me anytime. Sometimes I feel like, uh, you know, you try to go behind my back and speak to the guild, but, you know, you can just call me and talk. I'm pretty open per pretty open person so uh, i'm gonna shy away from conversation i have a trust issues and i know that's not your problem it's a me problem well i wouldn't trust a guy like me either so i get <laughs> okay, it okay fair enough that's just purely what it is is just trust you know yeah well you make calling time copper i'll be around all right well uh yeah, yeah, maybe i'll night. see you tomorrow all right hell yeah i'll turn myself in tomorrow even though i'm <laughs> innocent so totally innocent yeah you're right all right copper all right bye Lang. Bye-bye. Oh my god. He's 
sit back there. Oh, she said a lot of interesting things. Mom's driving. <laughs> Bye, Mark. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, man. That was really good.